Hey guys, so I got two Dell 700 watt power supplies today. There's one right there hooked up, the other one's over there. Um, sorry about that, I'll switch into manual focus. Um, so to power these up, you need to connect three pins. I have four, I'll tell you why in a second. So these two over here, let's just take this one out, hang on a second. So this one right here, this is your power, power supply on and power supply kill, the bottom two. Ignore the top one. And then this is just connected to ground. So the far left bottom two, and then the far right one up is the ones you need to connect. And all that does is make the power supply turn on. It gets a bit loud, so I'll take that off. And I'll be back in just a second. What this wire does is, since the fan is so loud, I'm not going to use the whole 58 amps. I'm going to use about 10 uh, with the iCharger 106B, which is right there. Just got it. Focus. Okay, so. What this does is I'm going to take this black wire, which is connected to another pin, which I'll show you right now. So I'm going to connect this black wire to the ground over here. All grounds are the same. This pin is also connected here. It's just connected to the case. Um, so I'm going to touch this wire to the ground. So here's what it does. Let the power supply ramp up so you can tell the difference. Not quite full power yet, so here's touching the ground power supply is still on, the fan is still running, everything works, but the fan is ten times quieter. I don't know if you, it picks that up on camera, but I'll tell you what, it's a lot quieter. Okay, so I have uh, two negative wires and one positive wire soldered on already. Uh, I'm using Dean's, uh, sorry, Dean's 12 gauge. This is a brand new one, the negatives down there. Sorry about all the mess, uh, going through a couple of rebuilds. Uh, my soldering irons on, the solder station is on just over 700. Um, I have all my power supply on and power supply kills done. I need to get a switch for the fan if it gets too hot during the summer. Um, but right now I'm just going to solder on the other positive and this one will be done. So, here we go. Okay, I just had to put the camera on a table because I can't do it all without a tripod, and I currently don't have a tripod. Sorry if this is either in the frame or out of the frame, I'm not really sure. Okay. Nothing really too interesting about stripping wires. Wire strippers are a great thing to have, or you can just use pocket knife, exacto, whatever you have. Okay, wires tinned, get it hot, and go fast, because it's always better to solder with a freshly tinned wire. And there it is. Whoops. Maybe not.
Okay, so this one's done. I may add another one, but I'm using these four millimeter bullet connectors, Electrofly. Sorry, I'm focusing. Whoa, there we go. Uh, four, four millimeter bullet. Uh, I have like four packages. I only ordered one that the picker screwed up at Tower Hobbies, so thank you very much for the free connectors. Okay, so it's all soldered. Uh, fan is always on low right now because I don't have a switch, but I'll get one soon. So here it is, all wired together. Got it plugged in over there. Again, sorry about the mess. Uh, two outputs on this one for now. Um, you can see it's all soldered in. Uh, going to the charger, uh, I made a Traxxas lead. A while ago, I made four of them because I had a T6 multi. Sold that to a friend by this. Um, the charger was $89 from progressiverc.com. The two power supplies were $22.95 in free shipping from eBay. I'll put a link to those in the description. But here we go, let's power it up. So the fan is very quiet now. Um, I think I still might get a fan guard just to keep the dog and little kids out of it. But here's the charger. Ooh, see, just put my jacket into it. Uh, here's the charger. It. Hmm, there we go. Couldn't see the screen. Um, it is very nice. I haven't used it yet but I use the internal resistance reading. Let's see if I can get it to focus better. Oh, there. So we have program, load, uh, lithium battery, and then all your different battery types. Uh, PV is car battery or lead acid. Let's go into special modes. The rest is just like a basic uh, Thunder AC6. Most of you guys have those. Uh, but special modes. You can plug a brushed motor into the port over there and it will break it in for you. You choose your voltage and amps, but I don't run brushed motors other than the Revo 3.3 starter motor. I don't think that needs to be broken in. Foam cut, that's for cutting, well, foam. Um, you get a wire. Now I'm not an expert on this, but you get a wire and it basically makes a short and it gets the wire hot and it makes it easy to cut the foam so you have straight edges uh, measure internal resistance that measures your internal resistance I've read it's not very accurate because it doesn't do it for very long but um, it works I mean, you want a basic idea that's what you're gonna get and that's it for special modes um, there's a lot of settings you can change within here. Um, I think it'll be a pretty good charger. Uh, the reason I put extra... Uh, whoops, need to solder that back in. Um, extra outputs is if I take it over to a friend's house and they have their 12 volt chargers, um, they can plug into mine. I can draw 57.3 amps, or so it says. I'm only going to draw about 50 at max ever. Um, but this charger can only draw 10. So I may get another. I may get a uh, 206B+. Plus. I don't know. This is a 106B+. Plus. I don't know if you saw that. Uh, there it goes. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for watching.